Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian. Um, it is almost here, Inktober, and I'm getting pretty excited because I went to Hobby Lobby today and I got some some supplies. Just a little bit, not a lot. I've got about four, four things and two of them were 50% off and the other two were 40 so I got a a uh, pretty good deal uh, everything was under uh, six dollars so I didn't spend that much <laughs> but uh, yeah let's start with uh, I have my markers my ink markers let's see let's start with what I with what I got my haul that I got so I got this, this is optional, you don't have to get it, but I got a, uh, it is a seal on. This is a corner rounder, a uh, large, I believe it's a, what is it, millimeter? I don't think it's a, Oh yeah, radius is 10 millimeters, so uh, if you want to round your edges, that's what I did. And I'll show you in a little bit. But yeah, this one I got at uh, Hobby Lobby uh, for half price, so it was a pretty good deal. And I think it makes your prints look so much cleaner and better. And I sort of like the I never had round edges before, so um, I really like it, and I'll show you all in a bit what I did. But yeah, that's a uh, Lars, and I'll also leave a link in the description below to where you can find it. I'll see if I can find a link for it. Yeah, that's that. And uh, let me show you how to. So. I have this paper right here. Let me show you how to use it. All you do is just clip it on there on the edge and then you just punch it sort of like a hole puncher and you can round your artwork or whatever you're trying to make. You can do this with photos also, postcards. But yeah, I thought this was uh, really cool item to get. Uh, I would recommend it if you want to get uh, round corners. Let's see, also I got this, um, it is also from Hobby Lobby from Art Hall. A paper trimmer with a extending roller and it cuts uh, about nine nine inches by well this one cuts nine inches by twelve because the paper that I got is nine by twelve so this this is a uh, also a good investment it wasn't expensive this is like a beginner uh, trimmer but uh, it works effectively as long as the paper is not too thick but i also leave a description below to where I get this and all you do is uh, measure measure it with it goes up to nine inches here and it's also in the centimeters and you can cut your, your paper to size if you want to make prints. You can also use this for your prints that you make. So that's a pretty good item to get if you're... It wasn't... It was, I think it was almost... Everything was half off. They're a Hobby Lobby, so you haven't got anything from Etober. I suggest you... And you want to get supplies, I should just go to Hobby Lobby. And they have a good sale going on right now. 
Yeah, I also got that and I got, I'll be using the Speedball uh, Super Black India ink. I've used this before a long time ago in one of my, I think it was my first art class. So I was like way back. Uh, it's, it's waterproof too, so you don't have to worry about getting water on it. Yeah, this is, I recommend this one too because I've, I've used it and I haven't had any problems with it. And what I'll be using with this is the brushes that I have. I'll show you in a bit. Yeah, that was my, and then the last thing that I did was I got this, I'll show you right now. I got this 9x12 Mixed Media Series 400. It has 15 sheets. Uh, this is what I usually, I've been using uh, for like my artwork is the Mixed Media Um, paper, uh, Sathomore paper, and you can use uh, dry and wet media, so you can use uh, basically almost anything. It's for, it's acid tree and uh, it comes with 15 sheets also, so if you're into mixed media art uh, or you like uh, using different materials with your artwork, uh, I recommend this one. And uh, I already <laughs> cut out all the sheets. That's why I got the trimmer for. And what I did was I didn't want to make my drawings too big because, or since because it's every day. So uh, I sort of thought about it and I decided to go. Uh, small so I have with the 15 sheets uh, I cut about um, two two on each seat two on each sheet so that's 30 sheets right there <laughs> I was kind of laughing when I when I uh, counted it up and I was like man I'm like one away from 30 31 but uh I uh, used the trimmer to cut them, and that's the reason I got the trimmer. And then I rounded the edges. That's the reason I got the round edge, because I was going to get a sketchbook with round edges, but uh, some of them were kind of expensive. The one for mixed media. So I decided just to get a, a big sheet of mixed media paper and just cut it in half so I can have more uh, paper to work with. So this one has 30 sheets. This one's 30. So if you get that kind of mixed media paper, uh, you'll have 30 um, sheets right there. And then also um, I made a, f uh, this is a five by seven. So I think that's a good size for your drawing, if you're doing a drawing every day. And then I also did uh, five by five by four one five by four and then I had because I had all these scraps like just laying there so I wanted to do something with it so I have 30 of the, the five by sevens and I don't know if I'll uh, use the four by six in between um, the five by the five by sevens when I'm doing the, the challenge I probably will. I'll probably do like one 5x7 one day and then another day I'll do a 4x6. But yeah, I think that's uh, if you want to do this, uh, uh, I think it's real effective and you know, you don't have to draw on a big piece of paper and try to fill everything. 
can get something like this or a small sketchbook. But uh, since I want to do mixed media, that's why I got the, the bigger paper and just cut it with the trimmer. So yeah, that's going to be really fun. So I'm excited about that. It took me a while to cut them, but uh, it was I think it was worth it. And what else? What I'll be using for the for this ink right here, the the super black uh, speedball, I will be sort of uh, just experiment with it because I don't, I've never done like washes on inks, so I'll just be using this a little uh, cup or bowl. It's from like a poster tube, tube poster, tube poster, and uh, I'll just, I'll have to clean it up because that just has some red in there, and I'll use that for my ink wash and my ink. And what I'll be using for this, just the initial sketch will be the same one that I always use is uh, 0.7 focus, 0.7 uh, Sakura 127. This is my go to pen, I mean, pencil. I'll be using that, and I don't know if I'll be using uh, one of these watercolor brushes because I saw someone on or some people on YouTube are, uh, they put India ink in here and they use it as a ink brush. So I don't know if I want to mess up my, I don't know if it'll mess up the, the tip of the brush. But I know they have other tips, so I'm not sure if I'll use it or not. I might put just like a little bit in there. Let's see how it goes, but I'll probably just use it just to, for water and experiment with that with the ink. And also, I got my these are just uh, some pens that I've had for a while, and these are the Faber Castell pens. Or ink ink pens. You can see that. I'll focus on. Yeah. I'll be using that. Uh, these are just different kinds of tips. This one's uh, a B for. Let's see. I was gonna mark on here. I don't want to mark on this other paper. Yeah, that one's just like a sort of like a sharpie. And then a small one. It's your basic. And this other one is a 1-5 this one's just a little bit uh, skinnier or thinner, thinner. And the other one's thicker, and then this one is just like a brush, a brush pen. Uh, this one's kind of faded, but uh, I'm still gonna use it just to get some effects. on the paper. And then this other one is a, S, a soft chisel. So this one you get bolder. You can get bolder or you can get uh, thinner and a little bit more thinner. So I'll be using those and I just have a regular Another regular pen. I 
not autofocus. It's just a ballpoint pen. I'll be using that uh, also. And then I have the brush, this one that I always use in my drawings. It hasn't faded yet. And that one is just, I would use this for like the outline. And also 005, which is like the fine pine. I think it's already fading. Oh no, there it goes. That one's just like a fine point for the details. And then this other one's uh, just. This one's sort of fading, but I plan to use like all these uh, ink pens for like details, and for the indie ink, I'll use it for bigger, for bigger spots in my drawings, and then I just have a bunch of brushes that are pretty cheap they're nothing special they're just uh, regular brushes you get at Hobby Lobby like the packs and this one's like a four and then have a three so that's for more f fine detail and then this one I want to use for this one's like a soft brush. This one is a like a wash brush. Um, I'm gonna use it for texture and uh, some splatters for the ink. And I'll also be using the fan for uh, to get a grunge effect to get grunge effects on the paper with the ink I think that'll be good and then I just have like these long <laughs> really long this one's just a round brush and I just use this for see it. I'll be using that with the ink. All these brushes I'll just be using with ink. I'm strictly going for just black and black and uh, black and like grays grayscale. So like ink washes and all that. So purely uh, black. And that's just another fan brush. Or a little bit, a little bit thicker. The hairs don't spread out as much. And I think I already showed these. This one's. I show this one. I think I showed that one. That one's a three. And this one is. I think I already showed that. That one's a four. So yeah, I can't wait. Uh, I have 30, and I think I have 12, 30 of the 5x7s, 30 of the, I mean, uh, 4x6s, I have, I have about 12, 14, and then the 5x4, and I can't wait, guys, this is, this is going to be awesome, and uh, can't wait to see everybody else's on on here and and the art community on Instagram and anywhere else they post it but yeah uh, that was my like mini art supply haul and what I'm going to use for Inktober so uh, thanks for watching if you're new to my channel and if you're new to my channel um, and you want to see my Inktober drawings, uh, just uh, 
subscribe to the channel and comment below what your theme is going to be. I will post my theme just in a bit. I actually changed my theme. Uh, originally I had it at uh, Universal Monsters and uh, like horror classics, but uh, I found out that I, from other subscribers that subscribed to me, I wanted to be, I was looking at their videos and I wanted to be more uh, creative and sort of original. So uh, I made up a new, a new theme, uh, my own theme, and I will show it to you in a bit, so I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So this is my uh, official Inktober prompt list that I created. Uh, it's a new prompt list. The old prompt list I had, um, I didn't like it so much. I wanted to create uh, more creative and original art, so mine is Creating Mass 2017. Prompt list, uh, we have Pumpkin, Skull, Day of the Dead, Green Reaper, Demon, Ghost, Ghoul, Goblin, Witch, Devil, Vampire, Clown, Zombie, Cyborg, Skeleton, Mummy, Frankenstein, Hag, Troll, Mermaid, Unicorn, Medusa, Minotaur, Ooze, Cyclops, Shapeshifter, Wolfman, Ares, Boogeyman, Plague Doctor, and Steampunk. So that is my prompt list. You can use it if you like. You can share it with your friends and I will see you guys at Inktober I can't wait to see what you guys are going to create with your themes and if you haven't subscribed to my channel channel ah, my channel then make sure you do if you want to see uh, Inktober videos that's what I'll be um, putting out for the month of October so stay tuned for more videos and we will see you guys later take care bye